man we want is Peter Darrell. Who's Peter Darrell? Remember the break from a prison train in the Urals about three months ago? Uh-huh. Well, right after that, the name of Peter Darrell showed up on the wanted list of these. He must be a pretty resourceful fellow. They think he's in Berlin? Yeah, and it's our job to find him. Here's a photo we borrowed from the Russians. I have positive information that Peter Daroff arrived in East Berlin this morning. I want him. Dead or alive, I don't care which. Excellency, may I inquire? Why is capturing this man so important? You may not. Have some posters made from this picture at once. And what can I do for you, uh, Mr... Kornielski. Mr. Kornielski, the doctor. I'm a doctor myself. Really? Uh, what can I do for you, doctor? I was told you could help me. I try to help all my patients. There's nothing wrong physically with me, doctor. I'm an escapee from Poland. And I would greatly appreciate it if you could help me find a place to stay. From Poland? Uh, what city? Warsaw. I haven't much money, doctor, but... You studied at the university there? Yes. I lectured there once myself, before the war. Tell me, who were your professors? I don't remember. It's long ago. Much has happened. But if you should hear of something, Doctor... I'd what is your name? Your real name? Kornilski. Peter Kornilski. Get out! Why? I have no use for liars. You are no more a Kornilski than I am. You are a Russian. Admit it. Yes, I am a Russian. My name is Peter Darov. Leningrad Medical Academy attached to the War Department for Pathological Research. Pathological Research. In other words, biological warfare. Hmm? And you ran away? Why? Are you acquainted with biological weapons, Doctor? I do know a little something about them, yes. You must know them. See their effects. How horrible, how truly horrible they are. I ask for a transfer to a hospital, but you don't ask for a transfer from such work. Next day, I was arrested as a political deviationist and sent to a labor camp. I managed to get away. And now you wish to make contact with the Americans? The Americans? No. I hated my work, but that doesn't mean that I wish to embrace fascists and warmongers. Now, take it easy, Darrow. Connect me with Mr. Graves. Dr. Chernick. Hello, Graves. Chernick. I have some news that will interest you. I have here in my office a young doctor, a Russian SKP. Yes, his name is Darov. How did you know? All right, I'll let you speak to him. Just a moment. Darov! Right? No, thank you. You are not a German, are you? No, I'm a Pole. Mm -hmm. It's better to be a Czech. Czechs are treated more sympathetically. Especially when one looks so much like a Russian. It's better to be a Czech Russian than a Polish Russian. But I am a Pole. Tell me, my Czech friend, have you papers? Money for food, a place to sleep? It's none of your business. Don't be a fool. I'm not a spy or a stool pigeon or a police agent. Where do you sleep tonight, hmm? Then you better come with me. Do you have a room? Oh, I have an entire camp. The refugee reception center. No, thank you. All right, walk the streets, but not me. 
I'll go and stay until they find out I'm a native. <laughs> then when they turn me out, I will be refreshed with a full belly, a clean shirt, and a hot bath. <laughs> if I only could make them believe I'm a political from Czechoslovakia, I would even get working papers. Sorry you don't come along. Working papers? Mm -hmm. Thank you for your kind invitation, Al. Billy Jacobs. Jacobs. My name is Peter Marsh. Marsh is a good Czech name. Glad to know you, Peter Marsh. All right. Don't be sorry, Al. Name? Peter Marish. Let him talk for himself. Age? 36. Country of origin? Czechoslovakia. Dormitory 12. Next. All right. Willie Jacobs, 42, Czechoslovakia. There's nothing wrong with my health. How many times have you been here before, Jacobs? What do you mean? This is the first time. It's always the first time. Dormitory 12. Next. This is a very popular game in Russia, huh? You told him you were a Czech. To me, you didn't sound like a Czech, Marish. No. To me, you look like a Russian. I know some people who like to help Russians. He is a Czech. I've lived many years in the Czechoslovakia. Which city do you come from? We are playing chess, see? If you want to talk, go talk to someone else. Oh, I needn't talk. I watch. I've got a cousin in Leningrad. Have you ever been to Leningrad, Maris? Made it, Morris, in one move. place for you to go now. They will know by tomorrow that you're here. They will think you killed their stool pigeon. You couldn't be so crazy as to go back to them, but you will be. But and then what? Have you money? No. I have a crucifix. It's worth something. There's a photographic shop at Werner Strasse 144. It's run by a girl, Lisa Landau. You can get good papers there if you can pay for them, and they will get you back again to the West. A new man. How do I go? Go by the subway. That's the safest. Get off at Stalin Alley. It's only two short blocks from there. Now hurry. Mention my name. What about you? Don't worry about me. I know nothing. I'm not a Russian. Take this and get rid of it. Good luck to you. Bye.
Who is it? Who are you? Come with me. Now tell me, who are you? I'm Peter Dauer. I escaped from Russian labor camp three months ago. I need papers so I can stay and work in Berlin. In the Western sector? Any place. I'll pay you. I haven't got any money, but I have this. Are you hungry? No, thank you. I had some food at the refugee center. You were there? Why did you leave? Somebody tried to kill me. I had to get away. Why did he try to kill you? It's a long story, Ms. Landau. Then it can wait till morning. What about the papers? In the morning. You must get some sleep now. In here. But this is your bed. I'll sleep out there on the couch. All right. Thank you. Good night. Good night. That's the man. But he gave another name and said he was a Czech. Naturally. How were we to know who he really was? And now, this murder. But where did you get this photograph? This is an East Zone photo. We make a point of getting what isn't intended for us. Then if Darrow killed our porter, it must have been because... Your porter was a spy. How Darrow found that out, I don't know, unless Khan tried to liquidate him. They wanted him dead or alive. We were... Well, at least we know he's in Berlin. To wait. Come on, Smatters, let's go. But what about the dead man? What shall I do with him? Bury him. Spend all of one's time finding newer and more terrible poisons. Such a job, one has to be without imagination and without conscience. That's my misfortune to have both. And I know too much about it. That's why they want me back. You do not need these papers. What do you mean? You could go to the Western Allies, tell them... It would be an improvement, wouldn't it? I quit my own country because I have a conscience. And then I turn around and do exactly the same thing for the other side. The Allies would never take the initiative. Oh, no? Give them a chance. You're few, aren't you, Peter? What about? So many of you come here for papers. You think you... How do you expect to find freedom if you carry the old lies with you? Please, my papers. So long? I was busy. A customer or a guest? That's my affair, isn't it? You came for your monthly payment. Take it and go. Not so quick. There's one man I am looking for. If uh, he comes to you, you must inform me. If he comes? He's a Russian, a doctor named Peter Darov. You will uh, cooperate? Yes, Fraulein? If he comes, they do not all come to me. Not all. But a good money. Ah, a Russian cross, huh? Where is he? That's mine. I, I bought it a long time ago. to happen someday. Come. Where to? To the Western authorities. Where else? Oh, Peter, don't be a fool. It's the only thing we can do.
wasn't calling. Werner Strauss 114. I found Peter Daroff. Glad you got my message. Why the barricades? Bill Mandela and a girl named Lisa Lando. They shot an agent and are expected to try to cross over. We want Daroff too. It looks as if they are going to get him first. They have this entire section closed off and are making a house to house search. They are here someplace. Have you any ideas? The girl has a sister, an actress. She may have taken him to her. She lives lane in LA 5. Yeah, but won't they be looking for them there? They don't know about the sister, yet. They will when they check Landau's records. Good work. Uh, one question. When can I get out of this uniform? Don't ask me, I'm only hired help myself. But you can't stay here, Lisa. Only for a little while, Alice. What is a little while? Two or three days, until it's safe for us to leave. No. Why not? He comes here to see me. Oh. No, he's nice. He wants to marry me. Only he can't get permission. You must keep him away from here. But I can't, Lisa. It means my life, Alice. Why, Lisa? Why did you have to get yourself into such trouble? You could have given him his papers and sent him on his way. And this would have never happened. Why did you fall in love with a Russian officer? Why, I... I couldn't help it. Neither could I. All right. Stay here. I have to go to rehearsal now. Don't open the door to anyone. We won't. There's some food in the kitchen. I'll try to bring some more when I come back. And don't make any noise. Don't worry, Alice. We know what to do. Off we visit. Frightened you, I, your Grisha? No, let's go. Where? To your flat. You will make dinner and I, I will take off my shoes. No, darling. I'm tired of eating at home. Let's go to dinner. Please, not today. I'm worn out. Since early morning, I have been running from one place to another looking for some poor devil who is wanted by the authorities. And tonight, I must go back on duty again. Come. Let's go to that quiet little place. Tomorrow, little bird. See what a tyrant of a husband you would be, Grisha. I don't want to cook dinner. I'm tired too. Then I will cook. Good? That'll be a fine meal. All right. We eat bread and onions. And that will taste better to me here than stuffed goose in a restaurant. Don't be a child, Alice. You know, Grisha, I was only teasing you. I cook you the very best dinner in the world. Just a moment. Your papers.
On your way, Mr. Franklin. No loitering here. I'd like you to come with me. Who are you? Lawrence Graves, American Intelligence. All right. Okay, let's go. Yeah. We're quite safe here. The police have been here already looking for you. They'll be back. They will, but not for an hour or so. We don't need any more. Look. Do you know the Russian monument at the Brandenburger Tor? You mean the one in the western sector? That's right. Here's the Brandenburger Tor. Russian sector. British. Here's the border. Here's the Reichstag that Hitler burned up. And here's the Russian monument. They built it just before the final division of uh, Berlin. We have an agreement with them that they can send their guards over the border twice a day. We let them pass, and naturally the police of the eastern sector let them pass also. There's always guards on duty at the monument, day and night. Now, here's my plan. Nothing here is out the body. Thank you. Won't you have some with us, Mr. Graves? Hey, I can't. My train leaves in half an hour. We've just made it on schedule. If you need a best man, you can reach me in Vienna. <laughs> 